Welcome back everyone. This is our second video in the DIY joystick mod. This uh, video is going to go over our Arduino and our Teensy Duino software, having the joystick being fully functional in our Razer uh, Tartars V2 mod. Uh, to connect our joystick to our TNC Duino device, we have five cables we need to look at. Our blue, purple, gray, white, and black were the cables I use to connect my joystick to my TNC uh, LC device. Those cables are our ground cable, our digital pin zero cable, our 3.3 volt ca uh, cable because our 5 volt doesn't actually work with our joystick. Our analog pin 9 and our analog pin 8. So as you can see in the pictures here on the screen, I've got it listed as blue, purple, gray, white, and black. And those are the descending order as we go through uh, plugging into the cables on our joystick. These may be in a different order on something that you may pick up. They may be in the exact same order. It may be the exact same joystick that I have uh, within my Tartarus V2. But once you've got those connected, your blue, purple, gray, white, and black, you're able to then plug into your Teensy LC board. And in each position, as you'll see on mine on the screen here, I've got my blue, my black, my purple, my uh, gray, and my white. Once those are fully hooked up, we are able to go on to our next step, which is our software. All right, guys, step two, this is our Arduino and our Teensy Duino software. This Arduino software you're going to be downloading is 1.8.13. In addition to our Arduino software, we're going to be downloading Teensy Duino software. As you can see here on the screen, we've got version 1.53. You want to make sure that your Teensy Duino software is fully compatible with the Arduino software that you just downloaded. And as we can see here, what I've got highlighted, our 1.8.13 is fully compatible. Once you've got both of these installed, install the full libraries because you never know what kind of DIY project you're going to be doing. With those libraries are on your computer, you can then go ahead, create any other things that are maybe of interest to you or a different DIY project that you later on use a, a different uh, Teensy board or Arduino board uh, to figure out whatever fun stuff you want to do. Uh, this is just one fun project that helps out with gaming and other applications, but you can just go ahead, like I said, download those libraries, have it fully entered the computer, and then we can get on to our next step of actually loading the scripts onto our Arduino device. So let's begin. Once those are fully in place, you've got it all downloaded, you get to open up your Arduino software. This comes with a flashing code on your Arduino device when you first plug it in. You won't have, of course, the code that's provided right here. This code is for the, the joystick itself. So when we wanna make sure before anything is said and done, I want you to go up to your tools. You're gonna to click on board. You're gonna make your way over to Teensy Duino. You're going to click on Teensy LC because that's the board that you're physically using. After you've got that clicked correctly in place, you're going to go on to the next one for the USB type. You're going to go keyboard, mouse, and joystick. Your CPU speed, make sure that's on 48. Your optimized, you're going to put that on fastest. And everything else, your port, make sure it's COM4 serial plus keyboard plus mouse plus joystick, and it would say Teensy LC on that. Once those are all said and done, you've got those properly in place. You get to then take the code, plug it in. It's as simple as a copy and paste in both areas, in both tabs. Uh, these codes are available on the Discord channel, which is in the link below. Once you get those, you copy it, you paste it in, you simply go for the check mark up top to verify. It loads the entire code onto your device. And when you're at that point, we get to then see if our joystick is working fully functional. All right, everyone, to make sure our joystick is working correctly, we're simply gonna open up our Windows bar. We're gonna go to settings. From settings, I'm gonna type in game controller. So set up a USB game controller. I'm going to click on the joystick itself. 
I'm gonna go properties. From here we get the test, and as we can see, our joystick is going up, down, left, right, going in the full circle we want, and we know our joystick right now is fully functional. All right, guys, I just wanna say thank you to finish off this video with the six followers that I have so far. We started off with zero just a few days ago. Six is a large amount of growth for a channel that had nothing to begin with. Uh, I'm gonna put the Discord link below as well as in the description of the video. I'm gonna put all the steps for Arduino, the links to Arduino, how to import your uh, code into it. So everything's right there. You don't have to necessarily watch the video consistently. You can uh, refer to the description.